This is another sort of variant on the video transcript method that I've shared in the content pyramid. Here, we're actually using it to document things in my business for my, my developers and my team. So here I've just built a very simple documentation page where my developers have built it. So it does look a bit ugly. It's not really a finished page, but it will do. We can add documentation. They can request documentation if they're stuck on something and they want my input, my help, and I get notified via email for those requests. Here I've got a documentation that I've just recently added, and I need to um, essentially add my Loom tutorial link into here. I need to copy the transcript from Loom, copy that here, paste that into my transcription, make sure it's saved, and then generate the documentation. And what this does is it sends it across to make.com. There it is there. And then sends it to ChatGPT, and then sends it back to Bubble. Now you could do this whole step inside of Bubble, but I prefer to do it here in Make because it gives me visibility. And I actually use Make a lot with pretty much every app that I, I work with. I prefer to send the API call to Make rather than use the built-in integrations in a lot of apps. Uh, or do a custom integration within the app because I get to see that here's the module running. I can see each each step and what was produced and not produced, what was the input, the output, and I can handle the errors. I can see the errors, etc. For instance, if I tried to build this in Bubble, it would be a pain in the butt anytime this thing errored because I'd have to go into the logs of Bubble, which are very complicated, very not helpful, and I'd have to try and pick through that and troubleshoot it. And when you're working with something like AI, where you're constantly adjusting the prompt to get the best output, you really don't want to waste time with log reports. So here we can see that we've sent it across, it's been successful. Here's the prompt. You are a business process and systems expert. Your task is to turn transcriptions into documentation, write in a Spartan tone. I want it Spartan because Spartan is basically short and to the point. Return JSON in this format where keyword is a list of 20 keywords, comma separated. So I'm giving it some parameters here. And the reason why I'm saying 20 keywords, comma separated is because that's the format of the data structure that I'm pushing that data into. Procedure is a brief step-by-step -step instruction with line breaks and title is, is short and relevant. So the prompt over time, every time I run it, I'm adding to the prompt. I'm going, ah, oh, I didn't put title case on the title, right? Okay, I want that on the title. Or it didn't put line breaks in the instructions. Okay, I better add that into the prompt. So little tweaks here and there, and that's why it's much easier just to do it directly in Make. Now here I'm feeding it, and I'm not even giving it an array here, but it's figuring out that I want an array of text, so that's fine. Normally you would want to feed it in that, hey, I'm expecting you to give me an array of strings, and it looks like this, so I might make that as my adjustment there. And then the user's just sending the transcript, 2,000 tokens, 0.7 temperature, just taking it down from the robotic a little bit, and then a JSON object as the response format. So now we've got our response result. Pretty short, was only a short video, so it's fine. Just making sure that we're getting the correct list here. The output of keyword is actually a comma-separated string. It's not a list of keywords, so that's my mistake. It was correct here. And that's because with Bubble, I can send it a comma-separated list. If I was trying to send it a list of texts, then I would need to send it as an array of strings of texts. But here I've just got one text field, and I'm holding it all just in one field. And the reason for that is I want a searchable list of keywords, because when we're searching for documentation, I'm going to use this plus the title, to do my searching. And that way I don't have to search through this long transcript. I don't have to search through the procedure notes. I can just search some small text here. So how that sort of stacks up on the view side is it creates our title, creates our keywords, and then it creates a nice little short procedure. Now I could make this a little bit better. I could say add some formatting to this procedure but this is sufficient. It's just giving the developer something short that they can look at and then they can watch the video if they want more information. Very simple system. You can build this in Bubble. You could build it in Airtable to document things. Coda even would be fine. 
uh, Notion. But having ChatGPT here just really makes the whole process much faster. All I do is I record a video, add the video link, add the transcript, hit a button, documentation done in 30 seconds.